We've put a lot of time and effort into our sensors class in an attempt to get really good data from our sensors, and we've been pretty successful. However, the only way we can access that data is by using the sensors.view function right now, and this just prints that information to the serial monitor. It doesn't give it to us in a way that's, um, that we can use uh, to help our robot make uh, decisions and to change how it behaves. So ideally what I would like to do is uh, use it in an if statement, for example. If sensors.front is greater than, let's say, 30, um, then my robot would say, it, it would do something. Here I'm just going to use the printing to the serial monitor, monitor as an example. Print line, and it would say, let's see, obstacle detected. And then if it didn't see that value, it would do something else. And whatever it was, it would be related to the idea that there was no obstacle found. So no obstacle detected. The problem is at this point, we don't have such a such a method for pulling this information from the sensors class. There's a couple ways to do this. Um, one way would be to change the front smoothed variable just to front and then to make it public. So instead of being a private variable, this would be public. Another way would be to create what's called a mutator method where we'd actually create a function that would spit out that value and that's what uh, a lot of C++ gurus like to do. Um, I'm going to uh, create a public variable called front. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because it's going to be really easy to type this uh, in our code later on so it's and it's going to be very readable. I don't have to type front smoothed every time I want to access the front sensor. And then the only things I have to do down here are set front equal to front smoothed. And I like this. This, this method has a, several benefits. Um, the first is if I were to add any sort of other functionality to this uh, sensors class, uh, maybe it does some sort of clamping on the value so that they don't get too big or too small. Well, I could add that functionality and then just set front equal to whatever the result was, something beyond front smoothed. Um, the other thing that I can do is it's, it's very easy for me to view front smoothed or the front total or the front ambient or the re front reflected by just typing that into this, this view function right here. So I can actually, for debugging purposes, pin down exactly what's going on uh, at whatever point in my code uh, by changing one line of code. So uh, for now I'm going to go ahead and change this to say front because I, it's all working fairly well. And then whenever I view it I'm going to view the front smoothed value as of right now. But when I go back to my main program this code should now work. Sensors.front refers to that final smoothed value that's been filtered. It's using reflected light. So it should be good data. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I load it to the mouse and view the serial monitor. So it's working as desired. 